one of the challenges of telling a story about a time where there's great decadence and a period of a very long peace is how do you create drama out of that? And we really knew a tournament felt like a great way to do that. May the luck of the seven shine upon all combatants. When I first read about the tournament, I thought, oh, it's going to be in a field with some trees around it, and maybe there'll be some flags. <laughs> I talked to the guys about the tournament very early on because I wanted to bring something stronger and more powerful to support the Targaryen dynasty. Jim produced this drawing of basically the Colosseum, and I said, really, Jim, have you got the money to build that? And he goes, yeah, yeah, which I should never have listened to. As soon as we saw the mirrored half moon shape that he did, it was glorious, and we saw a real need for it. They would, of course, have royal tournament grounds. It would be in the city, surrounded by the buildings. It, it just made sense. Probably one of the biggest challenges was where do we shoot the tournament and how big do we make it and, and where do we build that set piece that was obviously eventually put on the back lot. We had to make a level platform to build the set on because obviously it's on a, quite an incline. So we had to prepare a whole like farmer's field out there. The difficulty there is creating a tournament that's suitable for the stunts that are going to be enacted out there. Especially with horses, you can need soft ground. You don't want the horses to hurt themselves, you don't want the stuntmen to hurt themselves. So that huge layer of mulch was there to make a soft landing. Suddenly we have this huge stadium that we have to fill out. And of course, with all the COVID restrictions, extras only amounted to 150, and we had to look like we had 1,000. So where we have to put crowd into a shot that doesn't have enough crowd in it, you can either go full CG or you can use sprites. Yes, come on! That's the way to do it. And for that, what we do, as we're shooting, we're pulling the extras away, and we film the sprites from all sorts of different angles with all sorts of different actions cheering, crying out, sitting down, standing up, and then we literally populate them like little cards. Good fortune to you, cousin. I would gladly take it. I thought I needed it. The royal box itself is this huge, great dome, which gives us a nice, intimate area for all the dialogue that goes on between all the various characters. I wanted that to be the dominant part of the arena, and it was quite a costly thing, that box. But I promise! You will not be disappointed! It's the best spot to watch the jousting and to see the knights clashing in, in the center of the arena. Well done. That was great.